Hey guys, I'm Anthony Bresnikan, senior writer here at Entertainment Weekly, and we are talking about the new Comic-Con annual issue featuring Black Panther. Rolling. There's always a question of which film will be featured on the Comic-Con issue. I think Black Panther was the obvious choice this year. It's coming out in February, but it is the movie everybody is talking about, especially comic book fans. So if you're at Comic-Con, I think Black Panther is one of the major films that people will be wanting to see more about. One of the most important things about this movie, I think, is to note that it is a film a, that's about a black country, an African country, uh, and Black Panther was the historic first black superhero. He has a sort of historic place, and this film is historic because it's the first major superhero film to star a black actor, directed by a black filmmaker, produced by a black executive producer, and has two black screenwriters, Ryan Coogler, who's also the director, guy we all know from Fruitvale Station and Creed. And so the story that Coogler told me that I thought was very moving was when he was in elementary school, he started to get into Marvel Comics. And he got into them through Bishop, who was an X-Man, and he, he was a black X-Man. So he was like, cool, this guy looks like me. I, he wasn't too into the other characters, but that, that drew him in. I think kids look for familiarity, all kids do. And he started reading more about the X-Men and he thought it was cool that Stan Lee said that Professor X and Magneto were partly inspired by Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. So he said, cool, my culture is sort of inspiring these comics, I want to know more. So he went to the comic book shop that was near his elementary school and he said, point me to the black superheroes and they sent him to the B section for Black Panther. And there he found another character that he really loved. And when he got the job to direct the Black Panther movie, he and his wife went to that same comic book shop in Oakland, California, went in and said, where can I find Black Panther? And it was in the same exact spot against the wall that he remembered visiting when he was a little boy. And I think he's gonna introduce a whole new generation of kids to this character through this movie. And uh, hopefully they see themselves, hopefully they see their friends. I think audiences are just gonna share that excitement once they finally get to see it a little bit more. So here at Entertainment Weekly, we're really happy to give you just a glimpse of what's coming in February.